on Saturday, December 17, 2016, Long Beach United Against Hate led a march and rally from Martin Luther King Jr. Park to the Islamic Center of Long Beach. Many Long Beach religious and community organizations participated, as well as local politicians like Congressman Lowenthal, Marshall Belsowski of Long Beach Recruitment Awareness Program and Long Beach Area Peace Network spoke at the rally. One of the things I did was I'm with the Long Beach Area Peace Network, and we organized for peace and social justice in the community, and we've been around since September of 2002. And we do tabling, we do informational tabling. Uh, I sponsored a, or our group sponsored Meet Up Muslim in Bixby Knowles. Yeah. And it was a very successful uh, evening, uh, evening. And uh, in fact, I see some of the people that were, uh, were part of that. Um, and we're committed to creating awareness and showing commitment to peace on every level. And we demand peace in our world, our streets, our schools, our homes, and our hearts. Today we march and stand in solidarity with the Muslim community. And I wanted to stop, talk a little bit about the state of our continuous war and, it, and its effect on, on the Muslims here and, at, and abroad. I just want to tell you, one of the things we do is we, we work with youth in the schools. And one of the places we work uh, is with a peace club. We organize these peace clubs in the high schools, and the peace clubs are to make peace in the school and also to counter the militarism that happens in our schools. And one of the things we did was we had direct contact with students, Muslim students from Afghanistan through Skype. And what happened was they said to us, the only thing we want you to do is try to get your country to stop bombing our country. Because every time we bomb, every time a drone strike comes down, we create people that hate this country. We create people, we make terrible mistakes. Almost every intervention that we've made, Syria, I mean Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Libya, has meant heartache, murder, death for our people, for our people and the people of those countries. One of the things we do is, we, I'm with the Long Beach Recruitment Awareness Project, and let me just tell you what's going on in the schools. The junior ROTC programs, ROTC, Reserve Officers Training Programs, are being taught by a reactionary brand, of, are being taught a reactionary brand of American history, mostly by unqualified Army personnel and retired Army personnel. They are told that Muslim nations harbor terrorism and they are being brainwashed by the military. 40% of them go into becoming active military. Our children are also being desensitized by Army-sponsored video games. And they are, the, there is one game called America's Army Video, which is free online, and it, it, shows, it shows children how to kill. You know, America is a great place to be. It's a diverse country. We all want we all ha want the American dream. We want to own a home. We want to have good education. We want to have kids. We want to have good union jobs. And on the other hand, there's the American nightmare. And I just want to tell you about that. And that's the child soldier of 17 or 18 years old who gets recruited into the military, deployed in Muslim countries where racism against the population is the norm. Our students, are, our, our soldiers are involved in atrocious acts. They return with post-traumatic stress syndrome, with traumatic brain injury, no services to speak of, and end up either on the street as a homeless person. And if you notice who the shooters are, who's shooting up people, you'll find out that many of them are veterans, especially the ones that attack the police. I just want to say, as a Jewish person, I understand discrimination, and I understand what happened in the Holocaust, and I will personally not stand for this to happen to my mother, Muslim brothers and sisters, and thank you for allowing me to speak. And I want you to, Long Beach Area Peace Network has a Facebook page. I'd like you to like us. I see sorrow and trouble in this land. I see sorrow and trouble in this land. Although there will be struggle, we'll make the
the change we can If not now, if not now Tell me when Try that with me If not now, tell me when One more time If not now, tell me when We may never see this moment We may never see this moment Or place in time again If not now if not now, tell me when I may never see the promised land. I may never see the promised land. And yet we'll take the journey, we'll walk it hand.